Superman Legacy has just been confirmed to have a bunch of different superheroes in it, so let's talk about that. Nathan Fillion is going to be playing the Guy Gardner iteration of Green Lantern. Remember, this is not the same Green Lantern that uh, that's going to be in the Max Lantern series, right? The Max Lantern series is going to follow Hal Jordan and John Stewart. Guy Gardner is a different guy that I guess is just going to be a side character that all that's probably going to show up in that show, but also shows up in other movies in the DC universe. Um, yeah, so I, I think Nathan Fillion is a is a good pick for him. Not that I'm too familiar with Guy Gardner. I guess I just like Nathan Fillion as an actor. Um, Isabella Merced is going to be playing Hot Girl. Not really familiar with Isabella or Hot Girl, but I don't know. People say that she's good. I, I, I'll believe them. <laughs> Eddie Gathegi is going to be playing Mr. Terrific. Um, I like Eddie Gathegi. Not familiar with Mr. Terrific, but I'm sure he'll be good. <laughs> and Anthony Kerrigan is going to be playing Metamorpho. Again, not familiar, not really familiar with Metamorpho, but I like Anthony Kerrigan. So overall, uh, I, I think this sounds like good casting, probably. I think James Gunn, if there's one thing that he excels in, it truly is casting. Um, but I don't think people necessarily have a problem with the cast themselves. People seem to have a problem with this idea that this movie is going to be overcrowded, right? It's going to be overstuffed and it's not going to it's not going to be a real Superman movie. And I personally think that that way of thinking is a little silly. So this really stems back to uh, probably back to 2007 with Spider-Man 3. People seem to have this idea that the problem with, you know, Spider-Man 3 is that there were too many villains. People seem to think that the problem with The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is that there were too many villains. People seem to think that the problem with Batman v Superman is that there were too many heroes. And I fundamentally disagree with that. You could have taken the core concept of Spider-Man 3 and just executed it better. You could have taken the core concept of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and just executed it better. Same goes for Batman v Superman. Movies have big casts sometimes, right? Like, the only difference between a bunch of characters in Superman Legacy and a bunch of characters in Oppenheimer is that you know who the characters are in Superman Legacy. Like, movies have side characters. That's not an inherently bad thing. It's just, it's it's really weird to me that people have this mentality. Well, what this tells us is that Superman Legacy, like this James Gunn's DCU, is going to start off with an already established DCU, right? And I think that that's actually kind of cool, right? When you look at past Superman movies, right? They've they've always been about look at this God Man in the regular world. I actually like the idea of sort of doing the opposite of that, of saying. Hey, how does Superman deal with a world that is already that already has metahumans? How does he, he deal with sort of, you know, the clashing of ideologies, which I, I assume is probably going to be a part of this, right? Especially since we know that the authority is going to be a part of this DCU. Like, how does Superman deal and handle with a world full of metahumans? I think that that could be interesting, per, I mean, personally, and it seems like that's the direction that James Gunn is going here. And so, yeah, like, w there would be superheroes. It would The world would be populated by heroes. Like, no nothing about this indicates to me that this won't be a Superman movie, right? Or that it's necessarily going to be overstuffed, right? No nobody watched Guardians of the Galaxy and went, why, why is Rocket Raccoon in this? Why is Gamora here? Why is Drax here? This should have just been a Star-Lord movie. They should have made a Star-Lord movie and then a a Rocket Raccoon movie and a Gamora movie and a Drax movie and they, they really needed to establish those characters before they made Guardians of the Galaxy and then the counter to that is going to be well nobody knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy were yes <laughs> precisely my point the only difference between Guardians of the Galaxy and now Superman Legacy is that you know Guy Gardner right you know Mr. Terrific 
you know Metamorpho. So like you sort of have these preconceived notions of like, I know who these characters are, so they're going to overshadow Superman. Movies have side characters. That is a thing (laughs) that movies have always done. So I don't know. Maybe I'm missing a part of the equation um, here. Although I I will say to uh, the other difference between Superman Legacy and Guardians of the Galaxy is that Superman Legacy is supposed to be a Superman movie. But again, movies have side characters. Unless, until we watch the movie, and maybe it is the case that, oh, it's actually a Metamorpho movie or whatever. Sure. But we have to watch the movie to actually see if that ends up being the case. I personally think people are getting worried for no real reason. It's like, guys, James Gunn, at least in my opinion, uh, I've never seen a bad James Gunn movie. And... A move because a movie has a couple more characters than I necessarily would have expected it to. That's not gonna make me suddenly be like, oh, "Movie has side characters." Raise the alarms, guys! This is gonna be a disaster. Uh, that that's silly. That's silly. At least in my opinion. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.